Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, I do, but I don't know what the outcome is gonna be of any of this. So when I say I don't know what I'm doing, I love using napkins, but it's not a thing where I always say, oh, let's pull a napkin out and put it on the page. Because to me, that takes a little bit of effort that I'm not always like up for in the moment because I'm impatient and I forget I have things and I'm just kind of a whatever comes my way. So if I have to make the effort to get up, I think there's another layer here and I'm trying to separate. You can probably tell what I'm doing. Sometimes I put glue, just a little bit of glue on my fingers to try to pull these layers apart. I've also tried tape. Sometimes they just come apart on their own and sometimes they don't. There we go. And that that last layer is so tricky. Come on, don't rip the napkin. Uh, but I thought what I would do is take out a lot of these napkins and go ahead and just stick them to different kinds of paper, just like that. We've already put our Mod Podge down. So the napkin is dry on the top. And I'm just going to take my brayer and roll it down on the glue and hopefully not rip the napkin and not get the brayer covered in glue. That shouldn't happen, but I did accidentally tear the paper on. Um, oh, and look at that. I didn't go all the way to the edge on that. But that's okay because I feel like what's going to happen with these is that I'm going to cut these up down, down the line to have something to, to play with. And a lot of these napkins were sent to me in Happy Mail. See, there's a bubble right there. And I think when I tore one earlier, it's because I went over it too aggressively with this. Okay, let me put this one behind me. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm getting another napkin and I am getting another piece of paper. So, this is the fourth kind of paper I've tried, and this is a textured paper with the little uh, strings in it. And let's see, let me get my, my Mod Podge brush, and let's just layer on some Mod Podge. This, again, this paper has a little bit of texture, so I don't know, oops. Not sure what is going to happen. And if you notice that I'm putting a whole lot of Mod Podge, it is because this particular piece of paper is textured. And I want to get down into any creases that are on the paper before I put the napkin down. I didn't put quite this much on some of the other pieces of paper. But you know what? what whatever this turns out to be, it's going to be. And, oh, look at that. We got both layers on the first try. Um, I've already done one of these napkins, but that's the one that I tore a little bit. So let's do this. Come on, lay down flat. Ah, not quite. There we go. And I, I want one that's not torn, and I also wanna see what we end up with if we put one on this textured paper. I think it's gonna be really pretty to have that, um, that paper on the back of this. And once it dries, I'm hoping this will be pretty pages in my junky junk journals, in my everything journals. Got Mod Podge stuck to my finger. Jason is cooking for us tonight. Got baked potatoes in the oven and he's got steaks. So let's try this piece of notebook paper. I kind of think this only has one layer. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. We're gonna find out. So let's flatten this out and I love this. I love how this looks. And the thing is, okay, there, let's get the whole thing off of here. I think that 
it. Okay, that's okay if the napkin tears outside of the paper. See, that's what was tearing. I think that's gonna be really pretty. I'm just gonna let that dry and I'll have a piece of paper with that beautiful napkin on top. Okay, let's do one of these. This is, um, all right, well, I'll show you when I turn it over. It's some yellow ledger paper and it's very pretty. It's a large piece of paper. Maybe you can tell that. Instead of eight and a half by 11, it's about eight and a half by 14. And I think this is gonna be really pretty. Whoa, hello. That's okay. It didn't bend the paper. I like this larger brush because it seems to do a better job at covering all the parts of the paper. Um, if you've ever put a napkin down on paper and you you know what happens if you don't really get glue everywhere. You'll have pockets where the napkin is not stuck to the paper. So, um, so there's one layer. I think there's another one, but there might not be. I've noticed with some of the, um, like when I get Dollar Tree napkins, sometimes there are only two layers. It, it doesn't have to be three layers, but a lot of times it is. Yeah, I wanted to make sure. I'm just not seeing... three layers. Mm, got kind of a crease there in the middle. I'm not going to worry about that because I think with this large piece of paper, it might be impossible to get it perfect. Here's the other side of that. I love that. What happens if we try to... I just think it's going to be really neat. We'll do something with these. Oh. Very cool. Oh, wow. I found one that I've been wanting to use. I think this is beautiful. So, let's um, go ahead and put some Mod Podge down. I need more Mod Podge. Getting low. So let's put this down on the black paper. I'm excited about this one. Oh, I didn't get all the way to the top and I don't want to get glue on this brayer or Mod Podge. Uh-oh, look at that crease I put in there. Well, a lot of that's going to be not on the paper. Let's see if we can slide it. We can a little bit. Do you see that? I do see a tear in the paper. but it's not too bad. And that is glistening. I put a lot of Mod Podge on that, so I think it's coming through the napkin. And I'm not gonna run the brayer over that again. I think that's gonna be amazing. But you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go inside. It's almost time to eat. And, uh-oh, see, that's what I get. Let's lay that back down. There, that's perfect. I'm, <laughs> I shouldn't try to tear that. I can't wait to see what these look like when they're dry. At this time, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing, which is have a channel, create content, make journals, and do art full time. Thank you so much for supporting me like you do. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate always your feedback and suggestions. Okay, bye for now.